Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're all having a good week so far. Please excuse the mess behind me, but I wanted to start off today's vlog and I didn't really mention this in the last one But every vlog that I do I kind of want to start with an affirmation poll because I think it's kind of a fun thing We can do together and this was the last one that we pulled and I haven't changed it since so I'm gonna pull a new one I feel like it's a nice way to start the day, you know good things are all around me most importantly good things are within me I love that and it comes with like a cute little stand and now now put it on display and then maybe I'll tidy this up so it actually looks nice. I hope you all have had a good start to your summer. This summer is gonna be crazy busy. I feel like I don't even have like one free weekend, which is not so. I'm definitely going to be posting a lot on Instagram so you guys can keep up with my adventures over there. But yeah, today is just kind of a chill day. I'm gonna be at home most of the day. I am trying to pick up the pieces from this past weekend being so busy. This studio is an absolute mess, so hopefully I'll get to cleaning that and tidying that up today. But I kind of wanted to start with like a little bit of a self-care morning. I am coming off of a show, so my skin is like a little bit on the dry side and like breakouts, time of a month, you know. My skin just needs a little bit of TLC, so I wanna start with skincare this morning. And then we'll see what we get up to. I seriously love a little skincare headband like this. It makes me feel like really proper and professional. I don't know. Anyway, this video is kindly sponsored by Blue. And if you haven't heard of Blue skincare products, they are a Canadian brand. And a lot of the oceanic clay used in a lot of their products is actually sourced from the North Shores of BC, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna start off with the Hydrating Glacial Clay Cleanser. I just really like how hydrating this is, how well it cleanses my skin. It feels really, really cooling and gentle, and it's great for sensitive skin if you have that like myself and this has a bunch of fruit extracts and the oceanic clay and also vitamin b5 and lots of really really great things that just feel really good on the skin as i mentioned my skin is needing a little bit of extra tlc at the moment so i'm gonna go in with the blue glacial oceanic clay mask this is probably like their star product you've probably seen the packaging because it's absolutely gorgeous and this is an oceanic clay mask that you leave on for about 15 10 to 15 minutes and it is a really nice smooth texture it doesn't dry out on your skin which is nice so it keeps your skin super hydrated and plump that's the texture there again it is Canadian oceanic clay which is really really fun because it means it's from here the mask comes with a little spatula you just give it a little stir and then scoop some out onto your hand and apply that onto your face and just avoid your mouth and eye area as normal and leave that on for 10 to 15 minutes the mask contains over 60 unique minerals and rare elements and it also does a really great job of pulling out toxins I feel like when you think of hydrating masks, you don't always think of them actually helping with acne prone skin too, but this product does both. It hydrates, but also helps soothe your acne and acne prone skin that I have, and it helps draw out impurities, and it just really helps smooth your skin out, helps with fine lines and texture, and overall just like pulls moisture from deep within the tissue and makes your skin look so fresh and dewy, and it's just really, really lovely. I love the way this feels on my skin. I can feel a zit coming in right there, so I'm making sure to cover that one extra. <laughs> I'm gonna let this sit on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I will be back to complete the skincare routine. And just like that, we're back. Just look at how easy this comes off. There we go, my skin is very fresh and plump and hydrated. I'm gonna go in with the rest of the Hydrate Collection. So this is the Glacial Mineral Toner. Just gonna apply a little bit of this on my hands and pat it into my skin. Following that, we're gonna go in with the Hydrating Glacial Moisturizing Eye Cream. We're just really doing all the extra steps this morning and it feels really nice. This has definitely been one of my favorite products from this line. This is the Hydrating Glacial Moisturizing Emulsion. All the packaging, by the way, is glass. Like, it's really, really nice luxe packaging. And this has a nice little pump, and it's just a nice, like, cooling emulsion. Kind of like a moisturizer, but it's meant to be put on before you put on the moisturizer. And the final step in the Hydrate Collection is the Blue Hydrating Glacial Moisturizing Cream. This is a really, really nice texture. It's like a gel, but a little bit richer, and it is really, really soft on the skin. And that is the full Hydrate Collection from Blue Skincare, and I will have all of the details down below, and until the end of the month, you can use code Michaela 31 for 31% off your entire purchase. Definitely check it out. Huge thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of the video. It's a little while later, I just did some emails and some graphic making, and I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm gonna make myself a breakfast parfait. I actually just put up a reel and a TikTok of this, so if you wanna see like the full thing, go watch that video. But I've been loving this Rivera, Riviera, 
yogurt. It's dairy free, gluten free. And I have the strawberry here, but the passion fruit mango is superior. It's so good. This is like my second favorite. Um, and so I've been using this a lot and I just, I love a parfait with lots of fruit in the summer. It's so good. Also too, I feel like the other one is better because it's coconut based. This one is oat based, so it's a little bit thicker, but oh, they're good. This is the granola I like to use. And I like a lot of granola. And then for fruit, I actually have a bunch cut up here because I took this to the beach. So I have some strawberries, some pineapple that I'm gonna cut up smaller and obviously I would put cherries in it, but that seems like far too much work. So pineapple and strawberries it is. And the final step and most magical ingredient is coconut whip. It's so good, pretty much on everything. And there we go, that is my snack, my very elevated summer fruit parfait. It's so good. I must be feeling some type of way if I'm about to show you my outfit with my room looking like this. I didn't get to cleaning it today, but that's okay. But what I'm wearing today to go to dance, this top is from Allbirds. You probably know their shoes. I absolutely love their shoes and they actually just opened a store in Vancouver. So definitely go check it out. It's in kits, but they also have activewear and this top is really cute. Um, jewelry is mostly from Madewell. And then these shorts are my sweat shorts from Brunette the Label that I have the matching top and well, crew neck sweater that I was wearing earlier and will probably wear later on too. Apologies if you can hear the outside. We have our air condition up and so we have to have our window open in order for that to work. But I wanted to talk a bit about how I've been organizing my life lately because I shared on Instagram how much I've been loving the application Notion and I feel like a lot of you probably already know about it and when I first got it I felt really intimidated. I didn't actually end up fully using it because I was like this is too confusing for me to figure out and then I just decided not to use it. But the other night probably two weeks ago on a Sunday I was like you know what I'm gonna just input my entire life into this and see if I can make this system work for me and I really really love it so I have been organizing pretty much everything all of my work stuff I had to really scale back on my planning if you've been here for a while you know that I used to do plan with me videos and I used to do the stickers and like all this stuff hold for litter box <laughs> What I was saying was I used to do the whole sticker thing, make everything look really pretty. And I really enjoyed that for that moment in my life. And then my mental health really declined in the fall. And I was like, I need to simplify my life. I need to have everything in one spot. So I had everything digital and I was just using my notes app on my phone to organize everything. And it was just getting a little bit too messy. And I feel like I'm in a better spot right now. So I'm able to actually properly organize and notion has been a really great way for me to do that because I like having all of my lists and certain things. Absolutely not. Please go away. Um, he smells so bad. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just able to organize all of like my other social media work that I do along with all of the stuff and content related things along with brand deals and content management like that as well as like my weekly to do list. And I just really like the way it's all laid out. I have the application on my iPad, my iPhone, and then also my computer. You can access it via web browser or you can download the app to have just on your desktop. So it's super user friendly and accessible. You don't have to pay for it. I've been using the free version I think you can upgrade but I haven't had any issues with it and I've just really been enjoying it so if you're looking for a fun fresh new way to organize your life I definitely recommend checking out notion I did have to take some time like I said the other week and really sit down and like put everything in and that was like a little bit of a learning curve but once I got everything in it's been a really great system so far it's just way easier for me to visually see what I need to get done what's on my to-do list and like what's in progress so yeah I just wanted to quickly talk about that in case you guys are into organization like me and maybe also struggled with mental health and different things and had to cut back. I know that I really just needed to simplify everything and I'm starting to feel a bit better about everything. So I'm able to kind of up my organization game a little bit and do something a little bit more involved. It's also really pretty though. I really like the way it's aesthetically laid out. It's very clean, which is exactly what I wanted. It is now time for me to put my contacts in so I can see what the heck is happening in class and pack my bag for dance, get some fresh water and then we're gone.
afternoon. I am not naked as you guys saw from a previous clip. This romper is from Revolve. So comfy. Love it. As you saw, I actually got to tidy up my studio this morning, which was really good. I drove Cody to work. I showered. I got myself ready, made some breakfast, and then I have a couple hours now. I was doing like emails and other work stuff and contract signing and things like that. And then I have a massage in two hours, which is really exciting. And then I'm doing a bunch of stuff tonight as well. So very busy day, sun is shining, we're feeling good. But I wanted to show you guys a little cocktail haul because I'm going tonight to shoot some branded content on my friend's roof and I had to go pick up some props and I feel like this is really exciting if you guys are in to making cocktails at home or summer drinks, I feel like this could be kind of fun for you guys to see. So I started off by going to Amazon and I got an ice scoop. I have a little ice bucket here that I got at Target and so I wanted to get an ice scoop in gold, so pretty. And then I also got some little ice Ice tongs which are really cute also got a long stir stick this came in a pack of two but this is nice to just like lightly mix the drinks and then I ended up going to gourmet warehouse to check to see what kind of cocktail mixes and things they had they have a bunch of different cookware and baking things and it's a really fun store if you live in Vancouver but then I ended up going to some bartending store down in Chinatown and that's where I found most of these things first thing I picked up were these lemon rounds they are like dehydrated lemons and I know you can make these but I heard from friends that that tastes far too long so I ended up just buying these and put them in a cute little container so fun and decorative to add to your cocktails I also got the rose petals these are just like a bunch of rose petals that I thought would be really pretty and kind of would go good with the lemon. And because I love adding a little sparkle to everything, I got this Spear Dust, which is a pink and rose colored little shimmer that you can add to cocktails to make them sparkly, which I thought was kind of fun. And then I did go to HomeSense to pick up some new glasses. These are like large kind of goblet-y wine glasses and the shape is really fun. I thought these would be good for like Aperol spritzes or wine, obviously they are a wine glass, but they are quite large and yeah, I just really like the shape of them. They had some really good choices at HomeSense. So I really lucked out and I got everything I needed and I'm really excited to shoot this content, but I thought that was kind of fun to show you guys in case you're looking to up your cocktail game for the summertime. It has been a minute and a half since I vlogged in the car, but it is now 3.15 and my massage is in five minutes. So I'm gonna pay for parking and I go to the massage and I'm really excited. I feel like this is a good time of day to like relax and just like, you know, unwind, de-stress a little. I'm gonna have her work on my neck and like my lower back probably, cause that's where I'm really sore. <sighs> oh my God, I'm so tired after that. I don't normally fall asleep in massages, but this time I was coming in and out of sleep. I guess maybe cause I've been napping at the same time for a couple days, but wow, that felt so good. She like did my jaw and my neck and then my like, yeah, lower back all the things I said um, she's really great about that and I can already tell a huge difference like my head feels lighter from getting that area worked on so yeah wow that feels great I want to go home and sleep but I have to go get Cody from work and then maybe I'll have a nap and then I'll get ready for what I have to film tonight home now picked Cody up the cats were sleeping we decided to pick up some sushi on our way home for dinner. Looks really good. This is my favorite roll. It has like cream cheese and avocado, coconut flakes, and yam tempura. So good. Hello, it is officially tube top season because I look naked in all of my vlog clips. We are ready and it is 7.45ish and we're heading to the rooftop to shoot this content. Got all of the props and things back there and it's gonna be a beautiful evening. We're gonna be there probably for sunset and yeah, excited to get this content done. All right, we are home now and shooting went well. The sunset was so stunning and all of the content that we shot went just like really smoothly, which is really great. Thanks to Cody and thanks to Kira for letting us come use her patio or her rooftop. It was so pretty. And I think this is where I'm going to leave you guys for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Of course, don't forget to check out Blue Skincare. I will have all the links down below and I'm gonna leave you with a beautiful shot of the sunset. Thank you.